to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Your possibilities are defined by the levels and the dimensions of the anointing. So meetings like this are a system of spiritual upgrade to bring you into a deeper level. And that's what we're going to do now. Listen to me, brothers and sisters. One of the reasons why we never receive from men of God is because of dishonor. There is a lot of dishonor in the body of Christ. The mantles of the generals are still on earth. Mantles don't leave earth to heaven. Dishonor shrouded them, waiting for a time appointed when a generation can discern enough. Are we together now? Every mantle you ever read about in this Bible is still on earth. Our attitude of dishonor is what has made us close. That's why I taught you yesterday that if you dishonor the body, there are realms you will never enter. Because there are anointings. I once met a woman. I consider myself to be a student of the Bible. I was ministering in a PFN crusade in Kano. A conference. And all of a sudden, I saw this woman. And the woman looked at me. And she said she finishes her Bible every 15 days. It's an anointing. She's an intercessor. Doesn't do anything. I felt like kneeling down to say, my God, what did you say? Please, that grace quickly. Now, I want you to listen because you're about to receive now. I went to Joe's for in her bunkers crusade. And all of a sudden, that man was here preaching like I'm preaching in this conference now. I was in the crowd of people. And you know his crusade, you stand, you don't sit. My goodness, was I tired? But I insisted. By the next day, I felt I had not honored that man enough. So I said, at least I will join the workforce. I saw them pushing people on wheelchairs and doing this. I said, can I help? They said, no, you must be trained. I said, training or no training, I must join. I came all the way from far. I didn't come to play games. Look, when you are desperate for something, nothing else matters. Like someone tonight needs to be desperate. When Reinhard Bonke preached, I was already in ministry. Very simple message as his manner is. I would have sat down there and said, what kind of cheap nonsense revelation are you doing? I need it. Oh God. When you want something, you set your face like a flint. You've heard it in my teachings. There was a pregnant woman who was standing by me. She came for the crusade too. Every once in a while, she will lean on me. At one point, I said, ah, Madam, I'm not the owner of the, which one is all this one? I came to it with passion in my heart. I stood on that ground for six hours. I refused to be tired. When Reinhard Bonke finished preaching, he was about to take water so that he would minister the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And then my eyes were open. And all of a sudden, I, my first time, of seeing the visible manifestation of the Holy Ghost. I saw a bird. Not, not just some. I didn't even know I was in a vision. The wings were tied with silvery bands. It was hovering round. I said, my God, what is this? The bird will be bigger than this building. Hovering round. And the Spirit of God took me to Genesis chapter 1 verse 2. And the Spirit over ground and the spirit of God taught me the secret to the miraculous that it is the union of the word and the movement of the spirit 
not the presence the movement of the spirit that births miracles when I came back from that vision I had backed the stage I didn't even know I had turned around something came upon me I knew that I got it I can share with you various encounters in my life prophet Kobus van Rensburg before he died of blessed memory in South Africa I, I kept searching for people who had met God's generals because every time I read about them I felt like I was reading about my family I would cry reading about them and I tried I found only two people Robert Lerdan and then Kobus van Rensburg I heard that he had met with Lester Sumro and Lester Sumro met with Smith Wigglesworth and Smith Wigglesworth left a command and said don't die with your anointing make sure you find young men and transfer this anointing and I said wow they went down to John Lake and several people and then I traveled to South Africa to go and see him to talk with him some of these people you met what did they tell you my hunger took me there are we together Though we are few, listen, we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before. There are men and women that have crossed that river. Listen, then I started having encounters. You've heard about my encounter with the Lord Jesus. I have to share it before I pray. Am I boring you tonight? I desired God more than ministry. I desired him more than titles. I was already praying for the sick. I was already seeing signs and wonders in my life. But I got to a point where my hunger, my, I knew that if, if he didn't do something about my hunger, it may kill me. And that night, the Lord Jesus walks into my room. My God, this is the man every preacher talks about. He's standing. I couldn't believe it. I stand, I stand in awe of you. For me, it's not a special number. Jesus stood, my brothers and my sisters. Whether he was standing in the air or on the ground, I don't know. Many of you have heard me say, I still don't know how his face looks like. It's a deep mystery. Today, many people say they've met Jesus. Let me tell you the truth. When you meet Jesus, read your Bible. It took me more than one year to recover and become a normal human being from that encounter. That's why I'm surprised today when people casually say they are seeing Jesus and nothing happened. Go and read your Bible. And Jesus came to me. The life of God. The Zoe of the Father. When he stood before me, the first thing that happened to me was I knew that many preachers did not know him. Let me tell you, honestly speaking and truthfully so. This was the man I was preaching for. This was the man I was healing for. Now he's standing before me, a total stranger. I grew up in a Christian home and I'm seeing Jesus. And I don't know him. I felt like I was the worst sinner. Ironically, I did not feel condemned. The sheer holiness that oozed out from him. Hi. How do I describe this? He never spoke. He doesn't have to speak for you to know. His light is a voice. He was not speaking. Yet he was talking to me. The things he told me, I would know many years. It's not like as I'm talking to you, you know it immediately now. No, it's first taught in your spirit. Then your mind starts breaking it down through a long period of time. When Jesus stood there and looked at me, I knew that nothing else mattered in this life again. When Jesus stood before me, I knew that he was not a Christian. I knew that he was not a Pentecostal. I knew that he was not an Orthodox. 
he was God and his God by himself. I was like a speck of dust on the ground. My brothers and my sisters, I was not interested in ministry. If he had asked me there and said, let's go home, I would say yes 20 times. Now I know why those who are about to go home, when they see him, they say bye-bye. You are saying come back. They say you are joking. You will never see him and want to stay back. When all things that surround me become shadows in the light of you. That's what happened. I tell you truly, nothing else in this life matters when you see him. And then he looked at me and stretched his right hand to me. Light at its brilliance. Imagine magnifying the sun infinitely and putting it inside an ant. You've heard me say how I did not die is something that I will ask him when we get to heaven. And that light that entered me, he left. That was it. In several encounters that would happen to me, one day, the Lord spoke to me and said, Son, from today, I give you my presence as a gift. And then the Lord opened my eyes and I saw an angel. And he said, this is the angel that will walk with you. He said, he is called the angel of the Lord's presence. That's what causes, I'm explaining to you the mystery behind some of this shouting and jumping that you may not even know why. You are just shaking. There is a mystery. He sent it and signified it by his angel. Many years down the line, God would give me an assignment and say, son, any city you travel to, there has to be one person at least that that light that came from me to you, you must find at least one person who will receive that light. And so tonight, I know, not everybody, but I know there has to be someone. There has to be someone with the call of prophecy and destiny. Ah. That must receive that light. We are going to be praying now. I'm going to be praying for the sick. Many things will happen very fast. But brothers and sisters, in the next one minute, find a way of expressing your desperation before I minister to you. More love, more power, more of you in my life. More love, more power, more of you in my life. This is the generation that seek your faith. More love, more power, more of you in my life. More love, more power. Just one minute. More of you. Lion of Judah, the Lamb upon the throne, I hail you, Most High. The Lion of Judah, the Lamb upon the throne, I hail. I know the lion 
I know the Lamb I have seen the Lion I have seen the Lamb I worship the Lion I worship the Lamb And I will follow the Lion I will follow the Lamb I will follow the lion. I will follow the lamb. Hey, hey, hey. Pray just one minute. These are songs of the spirit. right now let hope rise darkness trembles in your holy light someone under the anointing please help them now I stretch my hands I call for the wells of the prophetic all those called into the ministry 
and the dimensions of the prophetic I command hear the clarion call I call you to that realm right now in the spirit I call that prophetic grace in the name of Jesus I'm praying for you you will never be the same mantles are falling here tonight anointings are falling here tonight listen the boras are rising here tonight Elijah's arising here tonight for the kings to be born for revival to return for the mantles to return for revival to return hey, ali, ali, oh, ali, oh, oh, ali, ali, I pray anyone here called to carry the healing power wherever you are like fire from heaven take it now take that grace now the healing grace Shaka Tokata where are the Catherine Coolmans the Smith Wigglesworth I release that grace I release the spirit of revelation the eyes that see I open spiritual eyes the eyes that see Step into your destiny. You have taken all my pain. You have taken all my shame. You have taken all the tears You have taken all the sorrow I give you worship Worship The highest praise to the King I give you worship Worship The deepest praise to the King Our time is gone and we may not take testimonies but in the name of Jesus anyone who is sick here now I stretch my hands right now in the name of Jesus I command the spirit of infirmity to leave your body now I command it to leave your body now please help those under the anointing be healed in the name of Jesus of every infirmity be healed in the name of Jesus. The spirit of prayer and supplication, I stretch my hands right now, is locating at least 51 people. My God, I cry, the mysteries of the altar of prayer, receive it now, fire from heaven. Mandalikata, Brakato Shenakata, the grace to pray, the grace to fast. Let it be yours in the name of Jesus.
Listen, I want you to believe every word that I want to speak over your life now. You see, before you believe a man of God, find out his track record. Don't just believe for nothing. There are two dimensions to the prophetic. There is the revelatory dimension of the prophetic. And there is the creative dimension of the prophetic. I want to speak certain things to your life now. I want you to believe it. And I want you to shout a loud amen. Every closed door. Listen. Over your life. I come by this apostolic and prophetic mantle. I speak to every closed door. Efata, be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Help them please. Be open now. Lord, you took my pain away and then you gave me joy you're my peace my melody in the center of the storm you gave me a brand new song to sing to you that's why i will lift up my voice and sing destiny now listen this prayer I'm about to pray please listen listen to the instruction please for those of you up and down everybody in this prayer please be your brother's keeper just hear what I'm saying be your brother's keeper because the prayer I'm about to pray when the anointing comes many people will find themselves acting out what I'm saying so that they don't injure themselves are you ready now I want to release speed over your life. Listen. That's why I'm saying be your brother's keeper. Right now I stretch my hands. I declare the grace for speed. Let it come on you now. Take that grace for speed. 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 Help them please. I command speed. You will run like Elijah. You will overtake the chariot. I command speed to your destiny. What has not been done in the last five years of your life, I empower you by the anointing. Go and do it. Pursue. Overtake. Pursue. Overtake. Pursue. Overtake. Pursue. Overtake. Listen, when Saul met Samuel, he said to him on your, the donkey you have been looking for has been found. I don't know what has left your life. I want to call it back. In the name that is above all names, whatever has left your life, I speak to it. Hear ye the word of the Lord. I command it to return back to your life now. I command it to return back to your life now. Please help me. It says... Therefore, even thy God has anointed you with an oil of gladness that makes you above your fellows. I want to release a grace for you. Let me tell you, there is a grace that distinguishes men. 
if that grace is not upon you you will not do much in this life i stretch my hands the anointing and the grace that can set you apart right now may that grace come upon your life may that grace come upon your life I declare over your life listen he said and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon the distance between you and the next level is one destiny helper away but I need to pray for you destiny helpers never come on their own they are called by prophecy I prophesy to the north I prophesy to the south I prophesy to the east and the west Wherever the helpers of your destiny are, I call them to your life now. I call them to your life now. I call them to your ministry now. Listen, the Bible says, where you have been deserted, so that no man passes through you it says you shall be called an eternal excellency a joy of many generations i don't know who has ignored you and despised the grace of god upon your life but in the name of jesus i declare the gate for your relevance let it be open now let it be open now listen there are many of you who are gifted but your gift is not anointed so you you are gifted there is grace your certificate is good but there is no anointing on it in the name of jesus the grace that shifts men into their destiny i stretch my hands to you and i shift you by prophecy now in the name of jesus christ Can I pray for your family members? Some of you, the trouble you left at home is not leaving you to, to concentrate now. I declare by the ministry of angels, may the angel of the Lord visit every family here and bring strange testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, listen, don't let the devil make you think that you are just hearing empty prophecies from a man of God. No, no. You will make a fool out of yourself. Some of you have come into this land. Uyo is a good land. It's a land with plenty. But it takes the anointing to give you your own portion. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, I stand here by the grace God has given me. Between now and the next two months, I'm speaking to someone. Find strange favor in this land. Find strange favor in this land. Listen. Favor is the number one reason people succeed. I want to pray for you again. Many of you don't know anything about favor. You've seen breakthrough, not favor. Favor is when a man comes to hold your hand and say, I will not leave you till you succeed. I pray for you. The kind of favor that will veto your background and prove the validity of your connection with God. Receive that favor now. Hallelujah. Now I want to pray for you. It's a very serious prayer I want to pray now. And I want you to pay attention. Every force. 
that has been manipulating your life and destiny some of you will be surprised what will happen to you now you will never know that the mystery behind the delay and the sufferings are yokes of darkness you may not believe it just pay attention right now in the name of Jesus and at the count of three if there is anyone under the sound of my voice under any kaya kata tabara kata, under any kind of demonic manipulation as I count three the fire of God is coming on them I declare liberty you know my voice I speak as one sent from God at the count of three I want everyone here to shout Jesus one two three I decree every force go 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 come out of them now I command every devil I command every spirit every oppression of witchcraft let them go now where the Spirit of the Lord is there is liberty be free now be free now release their destinies release their breakthrough I'm rounding up any family here that has refused to move forward no matter what you do it's like a barrier has been created I push you by prophecy in the name of Jesus Christ I push you by prophecy in the name of Jesus Christ I push you to your destiny by prophecy anyone here in ministry and it looks like you know there is a higher level of grace I pray for you it will be like the dream of the night but in the name of Jesus the oil for the next season let it come upon you right now let it come upon you right now NCCF I want to speak to you everything that is alive grows therefore I speak to you NCCF acquire bomb hear the word of the Lord I declare rise to a new level find favor with the government of acquire bomb in the name of Jesus Christ listen whatever is your central project in this spiritual season I place an anointing on it and I call it done whether it's a building project whether it is vehicles I speak it into existence in the name of Jesus Christ I understand you are using a church that is not your usual venue and my protocol was talking to me about the kind and very humble man of God I, I know that I'm sure that possibly I may get to see him before I leave but the least we can do is to agree as a family and speak over this church too when Jesus gave his donkey to be used for the triumphant entry the donkey was given the privilege of marching on the clothes when Peter donated his boat for Jesus to speak in he said now that you have satisfied my own desire cast your nest to the other side we pray for this church and he measured a thousand cubits and it was to my 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 legs my feet in the name of Jesus a new season of strange signs and wonders comes for this church whatever their spiritual dimension of progress is by the privilege of the election of grace I speak over the work and I command multiplication in the name of Jesus Christ finally let me speak over your life there is a fear that comes upon men when they enter the ember months if there is anyone here that the hand of death is already attempting to, start you, to find you 
I speak to you in the name of Jesus I command death to pass away from you I declare that with long life he will satisfy you and show you his salvation in the name of Jesus now whatever else you genuinely desire from God whether I mentioned it or not I stretch my hands and I declare by the connection of your faith I turn your request to your testimony now in the name of Jesus Christ I want to specially thank the executives of the NCCF thank you so much men and women of God the leadership of this church thank you so much dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message I want you to keep doing something for this man of God our man of God Apostle Joshua Salmon and that is I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity and then don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus I'll see you again bye